Hello, hello, hello again, and welcome back to another tutorial of hostmarie.com. My name is Helmut Meshkuanis, and I'll be showing today how you can restore your website using our 30-day backup tool. And they are called Timeline Backups. And of course, this dashboard is stackpc, stackpc, uh, stackcp.com dashboard, and we are we are offering our cloud hosting in partnership with amazing with amazing uk based data center 20i and stack cp dashboard is made by them okay let us dig in dig in so first things first you need to log into your stack cp account and then so then you will so in this case we have our package is WordPress ultra this is one of my Older websites, uh, a bit deadish website, medwaytimes.co.uk, and we will use it as, as a sample. So what do we need to do? We would go down here, timeline backups, click on it. This will open a section of timeline backups. So what you can do here, you can either you can take a snapshot, and before before I proceed, uh, before I proceed. So the websites, you would uh, you can see the websites as in two blocks. There are files, all files, and there is a database. There is a database. And what if when you do a backup, when you do a backup, you need you need uh, to get an archive of all the all the files that can be done in various ways, both manually, both using plugins or automated solutions in our case timeline backups and then you need to back up the database itself as well so in our case we can see that we have web these are called files these will be all files and this will be the database so what we have here so we have to restore we would we let us say today is november 30th let us go back two days back on November 28th. So we can see on November 28th at 3.56 a.m. And we are restoring all the files. Now we clicked on restore files. Restore queen, put, on, put in a queue. And now we have to wait. And now this will take some time. This will take some time. And we'll be waiting. Meanwhile, we'll be waiting. So it is recorded recorded as it is. I just wanted to show you the whole process as it is without without cutting off anything. Of course, up here, while it takes, you could you could start with taking snapshots as well. I would, <coughs> my apologies, I would highly suggest before you do any, any significant changes to your website, please use our timeline backups and take the snapshots take the snapshots of your of your websites and always take the snapshots of both files and the database so restoring files does take longer does take longer and restoring database does take shorter time usually usually and now we are waiting now we are waiting we are sitting there and waiting 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 and here we go here we go so this has been the, the files have been restored. Now we are going to the to the database. We are choosing again. We are choosing uh, the twenty seventh. We are choosing twenty seventh. We are checking the time. Awesome, and restore process is put in the queue, and the restore the restore process is going on in this case in this case there haven't been any changes done in the website for the last for the last week at least so i'm not really worried about matching uh the exact dates so and this is the second part so we have restored all files and now we are restoring the database of earlier version of the backup from a backup that was done on november 27th just one minute before the midnight and now we're waiting for this process to complete. And once again, I'm showing you how the timeline backups do work. Let us, let us wait, let us wait. And everybody, we can see in real time how the, how the timeline backups are working. Awesome, isn't that great? And yes, and now the website has been restored. 
has been restored from yes from both of them and let us let's click the website itself waiting here you go and the website is live and everything is everything is fine everything is fine everything is working awesome that is how you restore your website using timeline backups thank you and enjoy your web hosting